It is Friday and March Madness is upon us. That's right. This is when all the cycling apparel labels start releasing their spring, their summer gear for the Northern Hemisphere, which means there's heaps of new kit to check out. So what we are gonna do today is an impromptu hot or not episode. We're gonna go through some of the new releases on the new apparel labels, and we're gonna call them out. Is it any good? Let's do it. So let's start proceedings with one of the most controversial, newest brands out there. We're gonna dive straight into a Paz Normal Studios, the International Cycling Club. Ladies and gentlemen, possibly the most expensive new kit label out there, and this is their newest jersey. This is the Mechanism jersey. They do a men's and a women's, and we are having a look at the men's. Now, what you will very quickly will work out when you go to their website is their design is incredibly minimalist, right? Incredibly minimalist. It's all core base stuff. Now, this is their newest jersey and it's coming in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you can see where they are leaning with this. They are trying to just play off a big color palette and very little design. Now, the only design thing as such that is really striking me out of this is all the stitching is on the outside, okay? So you're seeing stitching on the outside, two-tone stuff there. Uh, it's probably really obvious. They're doing a lot of this color, right? This super norm core color, right? So beigey type stuff, matching it then potentially with colored bib shorts, honed uh, bib short with this. Okay, so here's, I've got two thoughts on this, right? And then we're just going, I'm just going to say, what are you guys seeing hot or not, okay? Two things. The thing with this brand, it's taken me a long while to work out what, like why, how, how are you, what? Uh, and what I've come back to is there's a there's a, a label, a street label at the moment called Fear of God, Fear of God Essentials, right? And they're really playing this card heavily as well. This sort of real beigey, toned down, um, like, yeah, I don't know how else to describe it. But it's not cheap. It's like premium colors for stuff that, well, doesn't really look that designed, okay? And they're just playing off uh, a label, you know, have a look at it. It's a real obvious labeled sort of stuff. You, you know when you walk past this in the street what brand this is, and that's what they're playing off. They're playing off that people are going to buy this because it's got the real big branding on it. Now, do I like this stuff? Personally, yeah, I think I think it looks cool. I, I, I really rate it. I mean, you guys know that I, I'm a big fan of these sort of earthy tones, that type of stuff, the bronze stuff, big fan of it. Um, my only my question mark is with this stuff is it's a bit shiny. See this? The devil's in the detail. With When you're gonna go super core, super like just basic colors, it's gotta look quality. And maybe, maybe that's the look. Maybe that's what you're going for with this, that it's like, I don't know, like sort of velvety almost. So there it is, the Paz Normal Mechanism jersey. For me, it's a three and a half stars out of five, somewhere around there. Definitely a no for me, dog. Running Yeezys, you're probably gonna get them. Now, moving on to our second brand, our second new release, Black Sheep. Boom, here it is. Here it is, the men's racing climbing jersey. Ladies and gentlemen, now, this is just a black jersey, you're saying, Chris. Why are we talking about this as an exciting new release? 71 gram jersey. This, this, is, an interesting, uh, this is an interesting angle to play, I think. 71 grams is not a lot for a jersey. So if that's something that you want to consider as a performance gain, then sure, yeah, there's something in this. Flicking through, let's have a bit of a look through it. Okay, we've got a navy blue one. We got, oh, that's nice. That's nice. I like that. Okay, we'll flick through these. While you're probably saying to yourself, well, oh, that's quite a nice color. While you're probably saying to yourself, that's terrible. There you go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. 
So you, you're saying to yourself, Chris, you went on and on about how rubbish you don't like gradients. And that's true. That's true. To me, that is truly horrific. But there's a difference between that, okay? For, this is me. There's a difference between that and that. That, to me, is actually a little bit classier. It's got it's coming through the whole way. I don't mind. That's just a subtle off tone, the, the actual gradient part of it. So that kind of works for me. That's enough. Three, two, one. Rejected by Anthony Davis. There you go. The Black Sheep Climbers jersey. For me, I think there's a space for this. I think there's a space for this. Four and a half out of five. Four and a half out of five. How much is it? Two thirty. Pretty standard pricing for a for a good brand. Yeah, four and a half out of five. Black Sheep, there you go. Make sure you comment Nick Scolari. You've been at me for months to talk about that brand, so there you go, we've brought it up. Make sure you get comments below and let me know what you think of that jersey. Let us go to our third new release, and that is from this brand, <coughs> La Passion, which, as far as I'm concerned, pretty much forced me off Facebook about six months ago because they were doing so much Facebook advertising, it was driving me nuts. But I put that behind myself, and we are looking at their Striver jersey. This is their top-of-the-line race jersey just released. And you can tell it's a race cut. From, well, two things, okay? And this is something that I've learnt recently from, from Jesse, who's been doing the Rafa Tested Program stuff. So, obviously, you got the arm sleeves with the waffle all the way down the arm sleeve. We can get a better shot of this, actually. All the way down the arm sleeve. The other is the kind of low-cut neck. Now, there you go. This is, uh, yeah, it, it, it always looks funny when someone's standing up with that low-cut neck. Because, yeah, it does that, and I don't like the look of it. But it's clearly, it's not designed to stand up. It's designed when you're down in that position that it slots in quite neatly in your neck. Look, nice jersey. Looks really well made. It's got the, the waffle on the arm sleeve. It's got the two covers over the, the zips. And, and it has the change of fabric just there over the bum panel. So... Yeah, good looking jersey. Let's have a look. What sort of color options have we got? I don't mind that sage. No, not a big fan of the orange. No, not a big fan of fluoro. We can do better than fluoro, people. White doesn't... Oh, nice dark navy looks good. Yeah, the sage. That that Just that general colorway there is quite nice. The sage with the maroon bib shorts. And I assume this is a this is a black one, is it? Yeah. Yeah, look, that's, that's fine. We're not... We're not reinventing the wheel with this stuff by the by the look of it. You know, similar pricing to the black sheep stuff. And um, for me, the sage colorway is is clearly the win. For me, it's a solid aero jersey. Three stars out of five. Two more jerseys, two more brands. But before we get into it, if you are enjoying this content, guys, make sure you do subscribe to the channel and like this video. I say it all the time, but it really does help the channel out. Thank you so much for watching. Right, let's move straight into our second last one. And it is from Map. He's reviewing a map one. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. This is the Evolve Pro Air jersey, which is made for movement, which is a relief. I would love at some point to do a, like a vlog just purely on some of the marketing bullshit that is written on all these kind of brands. It's hilarious, half the stuff. And um, made for movement, there's, there's a relief. Anyway, what do we think of this particular jersey? Well, it's clearly a race cut. It's like a light race cut jersey, like a lightning striking type thing on the front. Yeah, quite like that waffly sort of arm sleeve. And the back, yeah, is it a four? Is that what that is, or a P, a backwards P? I'm not sure. Yeah, actually, it's quite interesting here. If you have a look at the product weight, there you go, 113 grams. So you can kind of see in that in comparison to Black Sheep one. And also, another little thing there, just of note, don't use softener. Good rule for you kids, never use fabric softener on your Lycra. It's fast! It's fast! It's not fast, it's fast. Anyway, coming back to the kit, I like this. I think this is really nice. Um, it's got a bit of design flair to it. It's got some reflective paneling on the arms. Jeez, this dude's skinny, isn't he? Bloody hell. And you've always got to have, you always got to have the photo of the guy I'm just zipping and that kind of thing. And there it is. 
Yeah, and there's your accessories that you can run with it. I like this. I like this. What colorways can we choose from? Because I'm not a massive fan of that, I'll be honest. Oh, I like the green. Oh, I do like the green. Nice earthy green tone with like a grayish and then the purple stripe. Is that on the... Is that actually on the jersey? Can't tell. It is. Oh, I do like that. Nice little purple stripe in there. What's the purple itself like? No, I don't like that. No, I don't like that. That's too pastel -y for me. No, thank you. Um, but yeah, I really like that green one. That's uh, that's the pick of the bunch for me. Now, let me know what you guys think down below. But for me, that's a that's a solid pickup. 215 bucks. I reckon four out of five. You get a few get a few rides out of that one. I think. Last but not least, it is the Rafa Coast Road Classic flyweight jersey i've actually wanted to talk about this jersey for a little bit of time because i do really like it i actually have the technical tee myself because it pretty much matches my mountain bike perfectly and i really do like it as for this particular kit this is the women's version of it what I do think Rafa does very well is these collections, these limited edition collections. This one's currently out at the moment. Look, a lot of the chat around it and the text around it, like limited edition jersey capturing roads that exist and all this whatever, I don't care, to be honest. It just looks kind of cool for me, and it really picks up on a vibe of... of Oh, there we go. Anyone uh, recognize 10 points? If you can recognize that particular person right there who shouldn't be riding on gravel with his wheels. But that's another story. I can't believe you just did that. But for me, the design's interesting. The design is clearly the most interesting out of all those kits that we've really had a look at. It's having a go at it. It's, it's honestly, it's why they do the limited release stuff because Potentially, they know they're not going to sell massive numbers of them because, you know, it puts a lot of people off. But I do like the fact that they're having a go at it and there is an option out there for people to do that. How would you pair that? You've got to pair it with black bibs, I think. Play down the bibs on it and go that way. You know, pretty good pricing, 155 bucks. You know, a good bit cheaper than some of the other ones, but it's not as technical. It's not as technical as those race ones. There's, there's no two ways about that. For me, I really like it. It's uh, Let us know what you think down below, but it is a four out of five for me. So there you have it, guys. All the brands that have started to release their spring and summer collection. Now, guys, drop some comments below on some upcoming brands. There's a lot of American brands and things that I haven't got my head around. So basically get a comment below and we'll have a look. We'll go through them. I'm really keen to kind of make a bit of a hot or not thing going at least once a month on the channel as we do the Fashion Fridays. Because what would be super cool is if this becomes a bit of a space for people because there's not a lot and I get this comment a lot. People DM me with this a lot. They're like, I really want to get some gear and stuff, but I don't know where to start. I don't know what's... You know, I'm into, I'm into fashion, I like clothes off the bike. So where do I start with this stuff? So it'd be good if this became a bit of a database for that in a kind of fun tone, you know what I mean? And finally guys, yes, I know our kit is the best kit. Yes, I know guys, you've, you've all hit me up with, can we get the kit? It's, it's a challenge. It, it's something that we really want to try and do. In the short term, what we're trying to do is put together some t-shirts and some merch type stuff for people who just want to kind of represent. I think that's awesome. As far as getting the team kit out there, we don't have the scope like in our budget to do it. So it's the heavy lifting would have to be done by the apparel label. So, you know, as far as we're concerned, the more you can bully them into doing it, the better and show that there is demand for it, the better. But, you know, it's not something that we can really pick up on because for us, the budget is very much about trying to get the guys racing rather than just getting sort of kits up online. Short term, we're going to try and get some t-shirts and that sort of stuff. And then hopefully, you know, you guys can do your bullying and kind of go from there. All right. So thank you so much for watching. As always, guys, uh, catch the guys over the weekend in Wagga. I'll be sandbagging. Oh my God, the rain. It's just unbelievable yeah anyway pray for Barry uh, and finally let Russ cook yes yes we've got a chance next year no one's got any idea what I'm talking about but yes <laughs>
we've got a chance. Anyway, all right, talk to you soon, guys. So annoying when you record, but you forget to screen record. So you gotta redo the whole thing. It was magic. That was my best take. Now I've got to do it again. No worries. That's all right.